Hey everyone, uh, we're playing Black Desert Online. I thought I'd make a video about timber trade packs. Uh, I just sort of heard about these uh, with within my guild. There were some people talking about them, and uh, a girl was saying that she's got like 300 million worth of these things stacked up right now. And I thought to myself, well, you know, are they that valuable? Let me try to make some. So uh, I started doing that. And right now, I am at the trade manager. I'm about to turn in a stack of 30. Uh, you can see these things are going for 75,000 uh, each, just about. Um, the market price is up 130%, so no one's turned any in in a while. Um, so, yeah, and I'm getting a distance bonus of 41% because things, these were made in Altanova, and right now we're selling them in Calpheon. Um, so let's see if we can bargain if I have I do have some energy. I don't know how this game works But you know you just hit oh it worked. Oh my god. All right, so we'll sell also we're getting 82,000 each Times 30 for these and I got a bunch of them that I got to drop off. So that's uh, about two and a half mil for these 30 I think I have about 200 of them. So um that is what six seven, six or so let's see six to, well my brain is like it's like going to be about 17 million or so or 18 million and it was really easy to make these uh so let's go ahead and sell all these things boom done yeah and we've got two and a half million here which i, I had like almost nothing um in my pocket when I came here, so yeah, those 30 exchanged for about two and a half mil, yep. and uh, yeah, and that's it. So how do we make these things? Um, it's really, really simple. I'm gonna head back over to the warehouse manager real quick to um, go and pick these things up. But as soon as I get there, I will open the map and I will show you. So these are media crates. There's uh, Calfian crates and then I am um, Serendia crates or Bellinos crates. That's what it is. So how it works. Let me turn the volume here um, So each region the Calfian region the all the Heidel Velia area and then the region near Altanova um, These are th separate regions. They have separate separate kinds of wood so the one I'm doing in Altanova is the media crate because this is the media territory and the only wood you need is two different kinds you need this acacia timber, and you need um, this white cedar uh, timber, and that's really it. And this is a really great node to get anyway. I think it's a, my favorite node because it produces, I think it's Trace of Forest. I, I don't rem exactly remember, but it's a byproduct that is hard to get, and uh, it's worth a lot. So I like this node anyway. So you want to get the Media Northern Highlands. You want to get the white cedar timber. And then this note here, Stonetail Wasteland, you want to get the acacia timber. Now, you can't initially see this acacia timber when you when you unlock the node. You have to go and talk to the node manager and exchange. I think it's 35 energy for some information that lets you uh, access the acacia timber node. So this is all you need. I don't think I have any other white cedar or acacia coming in anywhere else. I think that's the only two there are. Um, so got this little chain you're probably gonna have a chain going up to Sawzins anyway so from Sawzins it's one node over for the white cedar and it's one node down and to the left so you don't even really have to unlock anything extra like uh, probably 90 plus percent of you are gonna have this chain unlocked anyway so <clears throat> once you get these two uh, nodes going you get workers on them um, again th this this one is I think it was one contribution and then the uh, the resource was one and I think this one might have been a little more like maybe two contribution I'm not sure and then each one of these was one um, so it's not that big of an investment so you get your guys harvesting timber uh, harvesting the timber once it stacks up uh, you hit your L key well I can't do that while I'm on my wagon here you hit the L key and then you go to the chop menu and you load your wood into it and hit start it's going to chop all your wood up into planks. <laughs> Once you're done chopping up all your planks, uh, throw the planks in here and hit start. And it's going to chop them up all into um, blah, 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 plywood. Uh, so turn the planks into plywood. Then <clears throat> you simply take all the planks and uh, make the crates with them. And you need a worker to do that. And I'll show you in Altanova uh, down here. This is <clears throat> Altanova 4.1. There's no prerequisites. I think it was... Uh, 
<clears throat> let's see if we could tell. Um, I think it was one contribution. Um, so you unlock that, and then you send a worker there, and you assign him to build the, uh, let's see, Media Timber Crate right here. So you can see you need one white cedar, cedar plywood, one acacia plywood, one blackstone powder. Now, blackstone powder, for you guys that don't know, I mean, you can just buy it off the market, or you can go and get the uh, the, the gemstones that go in your gear, find cheap ones and process them yourself, and you'll get black stone powder, and it's cheaper than buying it off the market. Uh, so, uh, and that's all you need. You stack that stuff in your warehouse, you send a worker to do his, you know, 50,000 jobs, and hit start, and he'll go over there and crank them out. Now, the nice thing about this is... Uh, you can go AFK. Uh, the, the only hands-on part is chopping the timber, which is a pain in the butt. It takes a long time. Um, there, there's a costume that allows. I don't know. I don't have it. I want to get it though. There's a costume that allows you to um, process things directly out of your warehouse. So you put all your wood in your warehouse. You start processing it, and he'll load the the uh, planks into your bag, and that will leave you. You know, that'll allow you to run quite a bit longer. I think. Um, but anyway, uh, that's the only hands-on part, and it's really you can go AFK, right? You can set your guy to chop the wood and go do whatever and come back. So that's the only hands-on part. Once you've got all the, um, the, the planks piled up, or not the planks, but the plywood, then it's just a matter of your worker making them. So let them stack up. i got 19 here right now. Um, I let them stack up to about 100, and then I go ahead and use the transport system. Now... Um, what I'm sending them um, from Altanova, you have to send them uh, to Tariff first, and then once they get to Tariff, I bounce them all the way over to Calfion. Now I do have this whole chain going between Altanova and Calfion unlocked, so I am able to uh, transport things at a reduced rate. You'll probably want that uh, chain unlocked so you can have a reduced rate. Uh, it does get quite expensive transferring hundreds of crates several times a day. Um, but yeah, so I send the hundred to tariff. I think it costs like forty thousand for the whole stack, and then from tariff I send it over to um, Calfion, which may cost another forty thousand or so. It was it was inexpensive. I think the whole to do a hundred crates might have cost me like a hundred fifty thousand or so. So yeah, something like that. It's cheap compared to what you get. So then once they get to um, Calfion, you simply come here, hit transport, and receive all. And then, boom, all these crates go into your, your warehouse. And then once you get them there, all you've got to do is take them from the warehouse to the trade manager, which is just this little quick trip, and drop them off. Now, if this trade manager has, um, you saw that we were getting 130% bonus. If that bonus is really low because someone has dropped off a bunch of crates there recently, you can go to another trade manager, like this guy here or this guy here, or go out of the city and go here. Um, or any one of these nodes around the city. You've got a lot to choose from to try and get your max profit. Now, what I started working on since then is I started working on the Calfion uh, lumber pack, which uses um, fir, uh, which I think here's a fir. I have our birch, a birch, um, and then fir is down over here. There's two fir nodes, at, or three, three fir nodes, and then also cedar. There's two cedar nodes. Um, so cedar, cedar uh, fir, and birch, those three combine to make the Calfian pack. And, uh, and then that I'm planning to take via boat from, from here uh, all the way over to a port that's over here, or so I've been told. Uh, I have to go find it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing. And, and the way I see this working out is I'll have a worker, you know, cranking out the Calfians here. I'll have the worker cranking out the Altanova, the media packs here. And then, you know, every couple of days, I'll go here, chop a bunch of wood, ship all the crates. And then, you know, the next day, I'll come here, chop all the wood, ship the crates. And I'll just alternate between the two. And it should bring somewhere around, I want to say, um, between the... Well, I, I well, I always say this: the media one is going to give you probably about ten million a day or so, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, the Calfian one is probably going to be much more lucrative because of the longer distance. I haven't done it yet, so I can't exactly say. But I will update you guys once I do get that running, um, and let you know how that's working out. Uh, it does cost a lot of contribution to get all this stuff unlocked. 
I just dumped about 20 contribution into um, getting this lower area unlocked. And uh, I still have to unlock like three nodes up here, which involves uh, going through a gateway, which costs three contribution. Um, also going through this farm, which is one, and then unlocking the nodes themselves. So that's all going to cost maybe around 12 to 15, I think, contribution to get all these. Um, because I've, I've got some of the things near them unlocked already. Um, so I guess you're to looking at a total of about 35 contribution, maybe 40, depending on what you've already got unlocked, um, to get all the nodes. And then you're going to need, um, obviously, worker space in Calpheon, which is going to be another, you know, maybe 10 contribution. Then you're going to need also the, um, the workbench for creating the, the packs or the crates. And uh, that's probably going to cost one contribution. So... All in all, I think you're looking at about 50 contribution to get everything done and uh, get these packs rolling. And I'll, like I said, I'll let you know how profitable they are, but I know they're much more expensive than the, than the crates I'm building now, the Media crates. And uh, so it should be um, much more lucrative. I think 10 mil a day for the Media one. I'm figuring probably closer to 20 mil a day for the... And that's 30 mil a day, mostly passive income. Um, so I'll let you guys know how it works out. I hope everybody's doing well. Talk to you later.